the shoulder. I was teaching you yesterday about it. And then you don't hit with the hand, do it with the body. That's why it works. And then turn it. It's very f dangerous. Never, you shouldn't teach it to to people with bad intention. controlling him on the floor, you should put him in a place or in a position where he cannot move. <coughs> See, it's like bringing him to a place where he cannot move, even if you don't hold him. So it's not uh, about being told, you, fi you must fight it by yourself. And this kind of polishing, this type of a body, is very important. Okay, have three very important eyes. This is the Sanshi no Kata, the three eyes. Okay, use the stocking, like a stocking. For example, when you put it in here, and then you turn it. It's same usage of the sigh. I taught you two movements. When one doesn't work, or when you can't do the first one, then you do the second movement. Watch his right hand. Yeah. 
And then? Not only that part, also using your finger. You see, the body, your body, your finger is also your body. It's not only a weapon. So it's like the same is as in human being that the two people get well together. It's like you get friendly or be or feel comfortable with a weapon. So it's the same like human being and their weapons. Or the same it is between two between human being. Okay, the two techniques that I've done, did you understand it? Okay, you don't show the jute. What will you do from here? Yes, Khan. And, and Khan came with a takeori to the right side. So sensei say, open your hand. Watch. This way, it's e your hand will be easily lifted. Even in Aikido, you can see this type of thing. Okay. Open your fingers. <coughs> it's important. It's not only spreading your fingers in order to... That's the difference with Aikido. You put power in all your hand, and then, and then, look at his right foot. You see, you do it in a way that it's hard to see what he's doing. The movement is not obvious. <laughs> okay, learn the timing of this movement. Do it, do that. Tak, try to go with the Takeori or So you give him the hand in order to do something else. Huh? Lower your body. Very careful. And many variations from this point. Walk together and then do it. Watch the foot, the left foot and the knee. Richard, 
weapon. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. You, not only in the fingers, in all the hand you put the power and walk together with him. You lift it a little bit, put the jute above the hand. Watch. Sensei will explain the hand movement. Watch it. Watch. I do it with my body. You don't have to grasp with your hands, like I did now. Watch his right elbow. With the right elbow, he's controlling his hand. Careful, do it without getting injured. Without injuring yourself. Then walk and do it in a change your direction. Okay, you bend it now by yourself. Before I taught you to stretch the hand. Okay, if you bend you by yourself, your opponent will bend his hand too. And then change the direction of your body. See, what's the important is to the turning of your body. Not so much putting the jute inside, but the turning of the body. And with the elbow. <laughs> Don't put the, the jute first, turn your body first. Turn the body, you see, put it in, and then, if you do it poorly, if you do it poorly, you'll hit yourself. He's also pressing with a jute on the wrist, if you pay attention. See, it's actually painful in a place that you can't see. So you're putting it under the elbow. It's difficult. In case of the jute, it's rather clearer without the jacket, so you can see the points. Bend the arm. Bend, bend the arm. Both of you. Then turning in this direction. Then bringing the jute in from here. When you hold it, uh, try to hold as much as you can in this way. And then pressing forward with the body. <laughs> <laughs> 